Hi everyone, Kate here for a very low key kind of a video. And it is low key because I'm sitting by the computer. I need to see the computer. You're going to see me react to a list of 10 mystery recommendations from the lovely Janelle from the channel Too Fond of Books. And Janelle um, just is such a great source of knowledge about the mystery genre. Uh, and within that, there are so many subgenres. We both really love historical mysteries. Um, and I'm just excited. So this is basically for the month of August. It's very early now, it's early June, but I wanna look at it. And in case there are some that the library doesn't have yet, um, and I might be willing to use up, you know, uh, one of my, uh, what am I saying? Like maybe I'll be willing to buy one of the books and it will count towards my 12 books for the year. We're gonna see. So I'm just gonna open it up. <laughs> And okay, all right, here we are. So number one, Death Below Stairs by Jennifer Ashley, Victorian historical mystery with great characters. I think you will like Cat Holloway with a cook in a Mayfair mansion. Yes, 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 to anything with domesticity added in, like mysteries already have the domestic elements. All right, um, so let's just see if the library has this. The library has this one and it looks, yeah, very easy to get a hold of lots of, um, lots of copies available. And I want to check, then I always love to check, um, how many there are in the, uh, in the series itself. And this could be fun too, when I'm in a Victober mood. Um, but it's not Victober yet. Uh, so let's see here. How many six out so far and this, the sixth one is coming out this year. This is very, very exciting. Okay, this is, yeah. All right, great. I'm excited about the first recommendation already. Okay, two, Murder on Astor Place by Victoria Thompson. I've definitely heard this name around on booktube. Uh, set in turn of the century in New York City, the main character is midwife Sarah Brandt, a widow who chooses to continue to work rather than return to her upper class family. Okay, I don't think I have read a mystery series where someone is a midwife. Um, and wow, I just have a lot of respect for midwives too. Um, and so, okay, let's see here. Murder on Astor Place. Oh, I love it. It's a, um, a gaslight mystery. The library has this one too. And I'm going to check how many are out in this series so far. Yeah. So the series is just called the gaslight mysteries. Oh, these covers are so atmospheric. Okay. Let's see here. There are, oh my goodness. This is such a wealth. Okay. The 25th is coming out this year. This is so incredibly exciting. Now the icing on the cake would be if the audiobook is available. I'm just going to double check. Although I, I do enjoy reading mysteries physically as well, but it is really nice when I'm in a reading slum and I'm like, while I'm driving, I love listening to mysteries. So let's see here. Ooh, 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 some of them are available. Let's see how many. Okay, Gaslight Mystery Series. Every single one is available through Hoopla. This is incredibly exciting. And now, of course, I have to listen to an audiobook sample. The only thing about Hoopla is that it doesn't give you, um, like, you can't listen to the samples. Callie Bolu, I think, uh, is how you would say her name. So let's see. Maroon Astor Place. Let's see, let's see, let's see. She stopped in front of the dead girl's mirror and took a moment to put it back on, silently telling him she would do just what she wanted, when she wanted to do it. And Detective Sergeant or not, he couldn't rush her. I'm not sure if I like, I, I don't think I like that narrator, but that is okay. It is not a requirement and... 
it could be possible that if I listen to her longer, but I've just gotten very like, I can listen to a few seconds now and kind of know whether I like one. I'm still very, very excited about that. Oh, okay. The next one is The Great Mistake by Mary Roberts Reinhardt. Written in 1940, the main character, Patricia Abbott, narrates the story in first person. Oh, extra points for that. She gets a job as a personal secretary in a mansion. Great characters and great mystery. And I love the idea of having the job as a personal secretary because that means that then she's going to get to know the other staff. Um, and let me just see if I have access to the ebook because the library, I don't know how many we have. Yes, there we go. The Great Mistake. Oh, this is so exciting. She was studying me. Not subtly. She was never a subtle woman. But with the semi-direct frankness. All right. Then we get to number four, the Marlowe Murder Club. Set in England, the main character is 77-year-old Judith Potts. Yes, for some age diversity in there. She's such a fantastic character. She becomes an amateur sleuth and teams up with the vicar's wife and another unlikely friend. <gasps> okay, let's look this up. I can't tell if this is a standalone or part of a series. Okay, it looks like it's the very beginning of a series. Um, so the second one is coming out this year. Now to check if the library has it. The library has it. Oh, this is exciting. This sounds so cool. I just want to see the synopsis. It says to solve an imp impossible murder, you need an impossible hero. She lives, Judith Potts lives in a faded mansion just outside Marlowe and there's no man to tell her what to do, how much whiskey to drink and to keep herself busy. She sets crosswords for the new time for the Times newspaper. Wow. One evening while out swimming in the Thames, Judith witnesses a brutal murder. Okay. That one sounds so intriguing. All right. Oh, the man in the brown suit by Agatha Christie. This is an early adventure mystery and one of my favorites. The main character is Anne Bedingfield, who is young and plucky. The adventure moves from England to South Africa and is really fun. I am 100% going to be reading this in the month of August. I remember telling Janelle how much I enjoyed um, Why Didn't They Ask Evans uh, by Agatha Christie. And then she said, oh, that, it's a really fun one and another similar one. I can't remember the other one she named. Um, but the other one was the man in the brown suit and it just sounded so much fun. So I'm very excited. Okay. The next one is the last detective by Peter Lovesy set in modern day Bath. I don't think I've read any mystery series set in Bath. Um, the main character is detective superintendent, Peter Diamond. I love the setting of this book. Peter's a great character. And you also get some Jane Austen with some letters that become part of the investigation. So I know, I think my dad has really enjoyed this series. And let's see, I think there's a fair amount in it. There's a ton in this series. Oh, this is so exciting. Well, the 21st one is going to come out this year. I didn't realize they were that current, but it looks like the first one was published in 1991. So that's a long time to keep a mystery series going. Okay, I'm very excited about that. The next one, Murder in Old Bombay uh, by Nev Marked, set in 1892, Bombay. This historical mystery is so much more. There's adventure and romance and found family. This is so exciting. Now, I remember hearing about this one and I actually have a copy of the audiobook on hold. So now I'm going to make sure it comes in on August, in August. Um, and I know that the second in the series is coming out this year and it's been, I think, two years in between. So that makes me think the author really takes their time and does a lot of research and it just looks really, really cool. So I'm very excited about that one. The Last Detective by Peter Lovesy, narrated by Simon Preble. Part One, The Lady in the Lake. Chapter One. A man stood thigh deep in water, motionless, absorbed, unaware of what was drifting towards him. He was fishing on the north shore of Chew Valley Lake, a 1,200-acre reservoir at the foot of the Mendip Hills, south of Bristol. He had already taken three brown trout of respectable weight. I just got very excited. So I doubled back and I listened to, that was a sample of The Last Detective by Peter Lovesy. 
I have access to all those audiobooks and they're narrated by Simon Preble and he is a narrator that I can't remember what I've heard him narrate. I feel like it's some maybe a Dickens and I really love his voice and I'm totally getting Inspector Lindley vibes by Elizabeth George and that makes me incredibly excited. I don't know something about it I could be totally off but that's the general vibe I got and that is extremely high praise if I'm saying it seems like Lindley. Oh, this is all just too exciting. Okay, the next on the list is Date with Death by Julia Chapman. Set in the Yorkshire Dales, this modern day mystery has loads of atmosphere and great characters. Okay, let's see if the library has this one. The library has this one. This is very exciting. Now let's see. How many are in the series? Because I just love to see these things. Okay, you will have to look up these covers later because they are just fabulous. Okay, let's see here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, maybe kind of like Agatha Raisin vibes. Oh, these look so good. Wow, the Yorkshire Dales. So that will be interesting. It will, it's the same setting of all creatures great and small. Um, okay, this is very exciting. And let's see, just icing on the cake would be audiobooks through the library. Okay, no audiobooks for those. That is okay though. The library has the physical books and it's all oh, just so exciting. Okay, Nine, Murder on Black Swan Lane, What a Title, by Andrea Penrose, set in Regency London. I'm recommending this one because of the main characters. Charlotte Sloan, and she knows what a character reader I am. Charlotte Sloan is a widow and an artist, and the Earl of Rexford is a brilliant scientist. Oh, I love that. Like, I don't know of any scientist sleuths that I've um, come across. That's exciting. Okay, so Murder on Black Swan Lane. Let's check it out. Let's see, the library has it. Oh, this is all so exciting. Okay, it looks like the sixth one is coming out this year. It's also fun to start with a series when there aren't a whole, when you don't feel overwhelmed by the amount that is out there. I do like it when there's a lot and you, um, you know, you feel like you have so much material ahead of you, but it's also cool when you feel like you could be more caught up with the series. Um, that's why I love to, I'm actually behind, but I loved reading the year it came out, the um, Mitford Mysteries. And um, so this looks so cool, Regency London. Oh, this is gonna be great. All right, and then recommendation number 10, Murder at Morrington Hall by Clara McKenna. This historical mystery is set in the Edwardian time period in Hampshire. Again, the characters are great. Stella Kendrick is an American from Kentucky who arrives with her father to, to attend a mysterious wedding. Viscount Lindy Lindhurst is the son of the Earl of Atherley, and there is even a body in the library. Oh. Okay, murder at Morrington Hall. The library has this one too. How exciting. And this one has, this is a relatively newer series and these covers are just so glamorous. Um, it's, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the fourth one is coming out this year. Janelle, you have just made my day. I'm just grinning so much just thinking about all of these fun mysteries ahead of me. And I particularly asked Janelle for help in August because typically August and September are my worst reading months. And mysteries are like reliably a uh, way to keep me out of a reading slump. Um, so I would just love to have like a little mini cloak and dagger Christmas, March Mystery Madness action happening in August and September. Uh, so thank you for watching. Thank you, Janelle, for being just the best booktube mystery loving friend and recommending these to me. And I am, I think I might just get all 10.
and uh, from the library and then just see how many I can get through uh, through August and September. So thank you everyone for watching. This was so much fun to read the list and share with you. And let me know if any of those intrigued you. And I will definitely include all the titles and authors uh, in the description box down below. I'll be back for another video soon. Bye.